Hello everyone, my name is Craig Chamberlain with Precision Electric at precision-elect.com. Your industrial automation control center. Drives, motors, controls, you name it, we do it, including repair. So feel free to give us a call. Today we're going to be covering more on the Invertec variable frequency drive. This particular video is going to cover actually using an external selector switch for your start-stop control, as well as using a speed potentiometer to control the speed. Now, if you bought one of the units that include a forward reverse switch and speed pot, we're gonna be turning these off to make this happen. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to get our drive set up to actually run from the terminal strip, there's one parameter we have to make sure we check. And that's right here in our manual, it's P12. So we're gonna hold down our menu button and we're gonna to go to P12. We're gonna press the menu button again and we have to make sure that it's set to zero for terminal control. And what this tells the drive is to look at this terminal strip for your start command and your control. Now that we've made sure to tell it that, the next step is to actually set a macro. Now these drives actually have a parameter lock enabled right out of the box. So you're not gonna be able to go above parameter 14 unless you activate the advanced parameters. To do that, you simply go to P14, press the menu button, use the up and down arrow keys to set the password to 201. 201 is gonna give you access to all of the parameters in the drive. Once you've set 201, press the menu button again, and then we can go up to P15. P15 is our, actually our macro selection. And let me show you here some examples of some macros that we can set for P15. As you can see in the manual, this is on page 42, there's a whole bunch of different macros we can set. The actual P15 value is here on the left, so we can do 0, 1, 2, 3. For this video, we're going to be setting digital input 1 to our run command, and we are going to have our analog input A1 set up as our speed. So we're just going to leave P15 as zero. This is the default macro the drive ships with. Now, if you want to do something else more unique, you can go through all of these macros and choose one that best fits your application. Actually, if you go back one page in the manual, you'll see some sample wiring diagrams for those macros. We're actually looking at this macro right here for diagram one. We're going to be using 24 volts DC to digital input one. This is going to be our start. We're actually going to be using a selector switch for that. And then we're going to be using terminals 5, 6, and 7 for our speed input, which is our analog input. So let's take a look at our wiring now. Well, let me double check the macro just to make sure. Yep, it is zero. Now let's check our wiring. What I have here are two blue wires coming out of the terminal strip. I have it for terminal 1 and terminal 2. Just like on this print, one and two. This wire from terminal one is coming out to one side of my selector switch. The other side of my selector switch is coming back to terminal two. Now, this is a normally open switch. When I close it, it's going to allow voltage to flow from terminal one to terminal two, and then it will actually issue my start command. That's the start, the start command, so that's the first step. The second step is to actually give it a speed. This is where my speed potentiometer comes into play. If I look at the diagram, there's three different connections here. I've got a plus 10 volts DC, analog input one, that's my actual speed reference, and zero volts or my common. Any speed pot you purchase is gonna have a three wire setup and you need to look at your speed pot to find out which of these terminals corresponds to which voltage. So in my example, my red wire is my plus 10 volts in my speed pot, my black wire was my common, and my white wire is my speed reference. Now as I turn the actual speed pot, voltage is going to go through the speed potentiometer right here, which has a resistor in it and that's going to allow zero to 10 volts, depending on where the speed pot is, to actually flow into terminal six. Seven is simply my common. Now that we have that all set up, let's give it a go. Okay, so let's go ahead and close our start switch. 
And notice right now we don't have any speed. Well, that's because I have my speed pot set at zero. If I slowly turn that up, as the speed pot turns, the voltage is going to slowly increase on this white wire on mine, and it's gonna give it a new speed reference. Now, if any reason whatsoever this particular speed reference is not responding, we're gonna double check a parameter here. It's on P16. This is your analog input setup. Now in our case, we're using a zero to 10 volt signal. And so we set it to U zero to 10, which means unidirectional, which is one direction. So it's saying that, okay, we're only gonna go from zero to 10 volts for our speed. You can actually check in the manual for that parameter, different types of setup. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because if you ship uh, one of the ones with an integrated pot, the default for P16 is going to be in pot, is what it's called. It's down here at the bottom of the list, and that's the integrated potentiometer. So let me go ahead and show you what happens when I switch to that. Oh, got to stop it first. Oh, wait, no, I don't. All right, let's go up to in pot, integrated pot. So now the speed changed. Well, that's because this integrated potentiometer is now being looked at for the speed. So depending on the drive you have, like if you have one of these IP20 units, it doesn't have an integrated pot. So the default's gonna be zero to 10 volts. So if you're having issues with responsiveness from your analog inputs, make sure you double check P16. And that is all there is to this video. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Craig Chamberlain with Precision Electric at precision-elect.com. Your industrial automation service center drives, motors, motors, controls, pretty much anything you can think of. Just give us a call and we'll help you get, get taken care of. Have a great day.